Hi, Bonbon bon here. Today we'll have a look at another one of the new mods for City Skylines 2. Another with a history back in the original game. The Road Builder mod enables you to have exactly the format of road you want at any given time. It's both easy to use and very intuitive to learn. The mod is hosted by TDW in collaboration with TreeJack, as well as the legendary Bad Peanut. The mod is currently in beta and will continue to be in development for some time. So note that if your version of the mod differs slightly from that seen on screen, that's okay. The link to the mod, as always, is in the description of the video. Don't forget to like the mod when you subscribe and tell them that I sent you in the comments. When you start a new game with Road Builder installed, you'll see a new icon in the top left hand corner of your screen. This will manually activate the mod, but I'm sure you'll want a hotkey instead, so let's go sort that out first. In the top right, click the gear button to open the pause menu. Then click Options, and then Road Builder. In the top black box, enter your desired choice of hotkey. Today I'm going to use Control b You can then escape back to the game screen. Now, when you want to activate the Road Builder mod, you can either use the button or your hotkey selection. Once opened, you'll be asked to click on a road. This road will be the template which your new road will be built upon. So while it isn't essential, it does make sense to choose one which is similar to your intended final road. Today we'll use the standard two lane road, but you should make your own decisions as required. Now you'll see three panels appear. Starting from the right, you'll see the road builder panel. This is a selection of all of the network types available to you. At the top of this panel, you can also view all of your already created roads. But as we haven't made one yet, this is currently empty. Let's fix this. We'll start by adding a bus lane on each side. Simply drag the bus icon down to the bottom of the screen and drop it into the correct location on the road layout preview. Here we want it between the pavement and the car lane. And we'll do this on both sides. Next, I'll add a median, with a tram lane on either side. Whoops! I've dropped the tram lane in the wrong place. Naturally, fixing is as easy as dragging it into the correct position. I think our road could use a second car lane in each direction. We could drag and drop another, as we did before. Or you can select the lane from the preview, and choose the copy icon from the Windows header bar. This adds another lane to the mix with the same settings as the one that you copied. Speaking of settings, each lane is controlled by this properties window, including the lane width, direction, whether or not it should have markings, and which forms of transport may access it. You can also delete the lane completely with the trash can icon in the top bar if you think that one more lane is now one too many. The median also has bonus options, including whether or not it should be grassed or have tree decoration. Once you have the road set up just how you want it, head over to the properties panel and give it the global settings you want, including a custom name, speed limit, whether it's a highway, whether it can accept public transport, or has gravel or tile textures. Along the bottom you can choose whether or not it should have a raised sidewalk, whether or not traffic lights should be generated at intersections, if the road will have zoning, and whether or not there will be underground pipes and cables. For now, we'll leave the road as it is. To move on, right click, and you'll see your road added along with a custom thumbnail in the right hand panel. We'll come back and edit this in a moment, but first of all, I'll create another couple of roads so you can see how they are all displayed. Now it's time to edit our original road. First, let's find it, which may not be easy when you've hundreds of custom creations in your catalogue. Fortunately, Road Builder comes with a search engine which will instantly find your correct work. 
From here, you can directly edit your road. Note that already placed sections of the road elsewhere on the map will also be updated, and that widening or narrowing the road might also cause unseen roadside buildings to be destroyed or disowned, so beware. You can cycle through all instances of your placed road using the Find button. And you can completely delete the road from your inventory, which will also remove all instances of this road from the map. So again, beware. An alternate, and may I say preferable way of editing your existing roads is to open the mod again and click on an instance of the road you'd like to edit. You'll be met with three options. Place more is simply drawing the road out in the mod rather than in the road tools. Edit all instances will do what we did a minute ago. Update the entire map with our new edits. Use as template enables us to create a new variant of this road without changing the work we've already done. And cancel is the back button. You can access your custom roads via the standard road tool menu, just as long as you have Road Builder installed and active. A quick glance back at the options and you'll find a setting called Advanced User Mode. If you check this, you should find a few bonus lane options will become unlocked. As these aren't as standard, I would advise discretion before using. The choice is yours, as is always the case in modding. Remember that modding your game is breaking your game, but only with the intent to make it better. If any mod breaks your city, then that risk is on you. Always. I'm not suggesting that Road Builder will kill your game, it's just good general modding advice worth remembering, with all mods. Anyways, that's it from me today. For more mod features and tutorials, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already done so, give this video a like. As always, a big thank you to all the Bomb Bomb Buddies on Patreon and YouTube membership. Without your support, these videos would probably have dried up. Thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. I've been Bomb Bomb B, and you've been very, very welcome.